and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I just want to say hi, my name is Lara and this channel is all about productive and purposeful living. So today, I wanted to talk to you guys about something really quick, really simple, which is what are the favourite things that I'm listening to at the moment? I am a huge fan of Audible and of podcasts, so I thought I'd share with you some of my favourite things that I'm listening to. Oh, before I forget about it, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. YouTube! <laughs> Alright, let's get going. So, let's start with the audiobook that I'm listening to at the moment. The audiobook I'm listening to at the moment is called Period Power, and it is phenomenal. So, it's all about um, women's health, obviously, but it's also talking about what specifically is happening to you when you go through your cycle, which is fascinating and something I have never learnt in health class. And I feel like it's always spoken about in a really negative way. It's always like, ooh, periods, let's not chat about it. But this book is all about the positive, awesome stuff that you can get from when you're on your cycle. And I think that's rad. So it's almost like harnessing your body's hormone cycle to get things done, which is awesome. Great read for all you women out there, also for men. It will help you to understand some of the stuff that's going on in there, which I would recommend. Moving on to podcasts, because I can only really do one audiobook at a time. Unless an audiobook really doesn't have my attention, then it just kind of goes and never gets finished. But my podcasts that are my favourite that I'm listening to at the moment, particularly because I'm about to go on tour, um, so I'm filming all of this before I go on tour, but podcasts are usually the way I get through it. So these are all the ones that I've already got loaded up, ready to go, ready for my seven hour travel days. Number one, The Dollop. The Dollop is so good. To use their own tagline, The Dollop is an American history podcast where every week, one comedian reads some weird story about American history to his other friend comedian, who has no clue what the topic's gonna be about. He goes through the narrative of someone, the story of something, the invention of blah blah blah, something about the history of the US, and then they make jokes about it. But you also learn some stuff, which is very cool. For the Australians, I would thoroughly recommend the Burke and Wills episode. They were the worst explorers. It is a very good time, very much recommend. Second on my podcast list, of course, I'm me, The Minimalist Podcast. The Minimalist Podcast is brilliant. They kind of cover everything from minimalist process, I guess, in a way, all the way up to like minimalist thoughts and like mindset work. So it's a bunch of things that can be geared towards like having less stuff, living with less stuff, how to declutter, blah, 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 blah. But then it's also thinking about how can I have a minimalist mindset about my work life? How can I have a minimalist mindset about my travel? I don't know, but it's really good. Always a million percent worth it. Next uh, is another one of my favorite weird podcasts, which are really good for tour life, is called uh, The Weirdest Thing I Learned This Week, which is great. It's pretty much uh, researchers for pop science, for those of you who know, it's a magazine, an online magazine, where it's a lot of research about weird science. And going through and researching for all of their articles and for all of the other stuff that goes up on their website, they tend to find other weird, strange facts about stuff. So on this podcast, they share a bunch of the weird things they learnt that week. So everything from the fact that your brain washes itself, the fact that there are some jellyfish that are immortal, the fact that there are some slugs that decapitate themselves in order to grow a new body. Bananas are radioactive. It's a weird world of things to learn, and I love learning about them. Finding all of these like strange, amazing facts about the world and history and natural... Uh, amazing. So if you're a fan of finding out dumb fun facts, which I'm a huge fan of, then amazing podcast. So the last two on my list are specifically about body and health. So as many of you may know, I have body dysmorphia and I also have a lot of very um, bad relationships uh, with myself, my body and my eating habits. So being able to listen to podcasts that help to normalize every body type, every body shape, I find really, really useful. And I actually think that the majority of people can get very good, useful information out of this. So the first one is just my favorite goddess of a human, 
uh, Jamila Jamil's podcast called Ai Wei. If you have never heard about Ai Wei, please, for the love of Jesus, look it up. Ai Wei is, it started as a movement about how women were always boiled down to how much their way as a kind of representation of their worth. That there would literally be women on the covers of magazines with 47 kilos, with 62 kilos, with however many much they weighed slapped on top of it in big huge letters. But anytime you would see men in magazines, it would usually have what their accomplishments were on top of them. It would have director of the year or blah, blah, blah. But for women, it always kind of boiled down to how much weight, how much space they took up. So Jamila Jamil started this movement, which was like, you know what? I actually weigh the sum of my achievements, the sum of my relationships, the sum of my struggles, all of these other parts of what it means to be who she is as a person. So she's also now started this amazing podcast where she has real honest conversations with people from all different walks of life, all different races, all different genders, all different sexual orientations, and it's just, it's just amazing. It's a really great way to open your eyes outside of your little bubble. Really great stuff. Do recommend. I mean, of course, I recommend all of these. In fact, it was from an Ai Wei podcast where I heard about the book, Period Power. Next on the list is one that was a suggestion from a friend of mine, Sean. Uh, they suggested that I... Uh, we were talking about life and being a circus performer and um, body issues and what that meant. And they suggested that I should listen to this amazing podcast, thank you so much, called Maintenance Phase. Now I can't remember if it was them or if it was Ash. Ash, if it was you, I'm sorry that I'm crediting Sean with it. But Maintenance Phase is amazing. It's now one of my favorite, well clearly it's one of my top five podcasts of all time. I adore it. It is, it's really debunking diet and fitness culture. It's actually looking at fads about science behind all of these diet ideologies, diet styles, foods. Um, they've done episodes about Big Brother and what the mental implications of that show are. They've done some that are about the, the bloody cayenne pepper detox and how what that actually does to your body. It takes the marketing away from diet culture so you can actually see what the science, what the information, what the, um, what the effects to your body are that are underneath all of it. So it's very easy for us to kind of hear from everyone, the cayenne pepper detox is so good for you. And if you hear it enough, you're like, oh, it must be. So they go in and say, here's how this was invented. Fun fact, it was invented by a dude in like the twenties. Um, and it hasn't really changed since then. And his recommendation was that you have it like as much as you need throughout the day, which will make you go to the bathroom more which as a diet, maybe not the best one to go off. Sorry, got on a tangent. The point of this is, these are all of the things that I love to listen to. These are the things I love to learn. I am always trying to learn new things, always trying to improve my life. And at the end of the day, what this channel is really about is to live a really intentional, fulfilling life. So some of the things that I isolated that I need in my life is new knowledge and fun facts. The other one is, of course, my body and health issues is a major part of who I am as a person and something I really want to improve, so that's something that I focus on. And the third one is lessening the amount of stuff that I have in my life. So if any of these suit the needs of your life, that your intentional direction is leading you in, check them out. But of course, if some of these you're like, oh, I don't care for that at all, don't listen to them. Just because I say it's great doesn't mean it will be great for everybody. I will have as many of them linked below as I can find for you. Have a freaking amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for hanging out. Peace.